What's up, everybody? Drink water, and we make another cooking video for y'all. Uh, this time it's going to be uh, red beans using Blue Runner red beans. This is the most easiest way to get New Orleans style uh, beans. It's uh, very, very good. And what I do is I like to doctor them up before I just take them out the can. Um, and these are so good that I could spend four hours on my, you know, from scratch red beans. If I made that and then I made this right alongside of it, it'd be hard to tell which one's which. They do such a great job of that. So uh, the ingredients for this little thing is gonna be some uh, Blue Runner red beans. You can get the creamy style. They have the original, which I have here. They have like a spicy one, which is, which is pretty good. This pot to cook it in. some vegetables now look I work on a boat and it's hard to get fresh vegetables okay so uh, we have to buy this um, frozen stuff and this one we have uh, celery red onions uh, red peppers onions all type of good stuff all right uh, if I was at the house I'd use fresh but on a boat this is just what you gotta do for shipboard life uh, I know y'all guys are gonna you know write some comments please about how I should be using fresh but that's that's what I got all right and we're going to need some rice and um, meats. Uh, meats, what usually goes in is going to be some sausage of your flavor, uh, whatever you like. Uh, because of my grandma, Gam, on Saturdays, which today is Saturday, I'm making it on the boat. We make red beans with um, red, old, nasty uh, hot dog, the red ones, the red hot dogs. That's what we use on Saturdays because that's what she made for us on Saturdays. It's just uh, what I do. So uh, I'll be right back and I'll show you how to do it. All right, peace. So the first thing we're gonna do is uh, get our pot. I put a little bit of oil in it. That way that helps uh, protect from burning. And the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna saute, um, brown down, sweat, whatever you wanna call it, our vegetables. Just pour it in there. I said I like to use fresh, but uh, on the boat, this is all we got. So we'll let these sweat, cook down, whatever you wanna call it. While I'm doing that, I'm going to chop up my weenies. Sorry about that. Chop those up, get ready for those to be put in, and make some rice. Um, if you buy a rice cooker, it's very easy to make rice, no matter if it's long, short, style rice. It's equal parts. You put two cups of rice, you put two cups of water, cook it, done. It takes about a half hour, so I'll start that in a little bit. But uh, I'll be right back once these uh, vegetables are sweated and the meat is cut. All right, as you can see, the vegetables have cooked down a little bit, sweated. And now we're going to be adding the red beans out of a can. What I like to do is, once I pour it in, you have to add water anyways, okay? What I do is, uh, Put my beans in, stir it so it doesn't burn originally, and then I get some hot water. You can't see, but I'm getting it. Getting the water. Then what I do is I take this hot water. You need water anyways. And I go ahead and try to get all of that goodness out of there. Get all of that red bean goodness out. All right, swirl it up. And then once you put your next can in, you kind of get that all the way out, right? As much as you can. You take this one that you've get, gotten all the stuff out, and you put it in this one. And you make sure you get all of, all of that goodness out. You go to the next one and do the same thing. See? Get all that goodness out. And then at the end, I will be putting the water in. Be right back. Peace. Here's my last can. I'm putting four. I got four crew members. And uh, I eat the you know what out of leftovers of these red beans, man. They're so good. Now listen. These red beans come from the factory cooked, 
right, ready to go. So once you have uh, cut your, your, your vegetables, your onions, bell peppers, whatever you like, and you've sweated them, it really takes no much time after that. All right, especially if you're using uh, weenies and already cooked sausages, like we're using, I'm using my leftover uh, sausages from our shrimp ball yesterday in here. You see how it's, it's really, uh, really pasty, all right? This would burn in like three minutes. You just left like this. You need to add some water so don't boil, burn, and this is where the water comes into play, see? You gotta add water anyways. Why not add water full of the red bean juice? Go ahead and stir that up. All right. And I'm thinking that this is still a tad bit too tasty for me. I don't want this stuff to burn on the on the stove. So I'm going to add a little bit more water and the vegetables. I'll be right back and show you that. Vegetables. The meat. The meat. Piece meat. There goes the hot water, a little bit extra. I don't like the way it was looking. And what's cool about these beans is that, let's say I add too much water, all right? And now it's more like of a, of a, a soupy gumbo type mixture, right? No big deal, no big deal. All you gotta do is burn the water off. And the way you burn the water off is just keep your lid off and the water's gonna burn off all the way until it burns. Obviously, you're gonna stop it before that. Um, and actually, this consistency right here is looking really good, all right? It's not a whole bunch of wet like a soup, but it's not like a, a paste like you saw. This is perfect serving consistency. Maybe a tad bit dry, but not much. Here goes the meat. All right, that is leftover shrimp uh, sausage from yesterday. Uh, Fridays on this boat, we do uh, bald shrimp every Friday. It's awesome. And every Saturday we do my grandma's red beans um, and that's also like I said that's a sausage and just regular old nasty red hot dogs so from here I'm just gonna let this simmer until the uh, guys are ready to eat that's red beans out of a can especially this awesome blue run I'm telling you this is the best if you can find it just do exactly like this oh also uh, real quick, I use a little uh, Louisiana hot sauce just for flavoring, not for the kick, it's for flavoring. A little of that, and also with every recipe, a little uh, Tony crochets, Tony sasseries, Tony, however you want to call it, and a little Tony seasoning, okay? And that's it. Mix it all in and enjoy. In a few minutes, I'll be back showing you uh, the rice and red beans, how to serve it, how to eat it. Peace. Here's what the rice looks out of the rice pot, equal parts. Looks awesome. Here is the rice. And here is the beans going into the rice. This is the consistency you're looking for, all right? Not soupy and not a paste. You know, it has to be liquidy. All right, please uh, like this video, subscribe, leave comments, and try it out. It's very good. Peace.